I'm Yaz Ahmed. I'm a trumpet player, flugelhorn player and composer. My music is inspired by my mixed heritage. So the music from Bahrain um, and British jazz. Um, yeah, and I, I'm really into experimenting with other styles of music. I'm very much into um, electronics and um, manipulating um, field recordings. Um, so yeah, pre-recorded sounds that I've captured um, on my phone or something in the studio I've recorded. So um, yeah, I have a, a mixture of influences. <laughs> I developed my my own personal voice um, really through self discovery, sort of rediscovering my Bahraini roots, um, and that really came around when, uh, my early twenties. So I lived in Bahrain till I was nine, um, and I we moved to London, and um, I quickly adapted to um, you know British culture. Um, but as I grew up and became more aware of my identity, um, you know, I felt there was something missing inside of me. And then I sort of, you know, went back listening to um, music um, of the Gulf, um, so Khaliji music and, um, you know, any sort of Middle Eastern music and kind of just you know, thinking back to what my life was like there and, and yeah, kind of connecting again and visiting Bahrain again, you know, I hadn't been back for years and years and years and, and, you know, I sort of embraced the music again and that inspired me to, to study the music. I got a load of books out, um, the library at the Guildhall School of Music and um, yeah, sort of read up about Arabic music and um, experimented with um, the scales and the rhythms that I had learnt. And yeah, but also keeping the sort of jazz spirit in uh, my compositions. So yeah, it's been a long journey. Um, uh, but yeah, I feel like I have my own voice, my own story to tell. And that has been, you know, sort of a long path. And yeah, I feel like I'm still evolving. I'm still learning new things. But yeah, that's my journey. <laughs>
So my first album, Finding My Way Home, um, was released in 2011. And um, I suppose that was fairly soon after I'd graduated from the Guildhall School of Music. I did um, a degree in, a, I did a master's degree actually in jazz. And um, I think my, my education, I suppose, was based on mainly kind of um, American jazz, um, the sort of blue note musicians, but also I got to learn about people like Kenny Wheeler, um, sort of more on the British side of things. Um, and so finding my way home kind of, I think, slightly, very slightly reflects that. Um, and I pay homage to um, Miles Davis. I, I did a cover of um, So What? Um, but also it was, um, I think it kind of um, represents and I suppose reveals my first experimentations into um, fusing Arabic music with jazz. Um, I don't think it's as kind of um, uh, Arabic, you know, uh, compared to um, Les Saboteurs, but it's definitely, you can hear, um, you know, the sort of uh, dipping my toe in the, in the water and sort of, yeah, learning about these new sounds. Um, and so obviously after that, after that album, um, I continued my exploration into Middle Eastern music. And also I had um, experiences with um, other musicians. So I learned a lot about electronics from um, Radiohead and These New Puritans and um, my good friend, Jason Singh. And so I found all those things very interesting. And I realized that I could add even more colors to my trumpet, my natural sound. And, you know, that sparked off loads of different ideas. So when it came to my uh, second album, The Saboteurs, which was released in 2017, um, I had sort of, I suppose, more of um, a true voice. You know, my voice, um, yeah, became more, I suppose, more solid, more me. Um, and then, yeah, you can hear more influences from Middle Eastern music, um, electronic music. And um, I also do two covers. I did um, Bloom by Radiohead. Um, I actually played on on that track on King, the album King, King of Limbs, yes. Um, and um, I also did a cover of um, um, a piece called Organ Eternal by These New Puritans. And I did a world tour with them. I found them very inspiring. Um, and yeah, that album is also kind of, um, I suppose you could say, dedicated to my anti-muse, um, you know, my inner destroyer, my saboteur, and uh, how to um, kind of, you know, notice and, and uh, deal with those um, negative thoughts, how to combat them, but also accept them because that's part of me, that's part of everyone. Um, so... And then uh, my most recent album, Polymnia, um, and that was released 2019. Um, and that is actually a kind of like a reworking of a suite that I wrote um, for International Women's Day um, in 2015. It was commissioned by um, the Tomorrow's Warriors. And um, it's a suite that is, um, it's uh, sort of celebrating female courage and determination. Um, and there are six movements, all dedicated to um, inspiring women. And um, it was first premiered by um, the New Civilization Orchestra. And um, yeah, when it came to the album, um, some of those music, well, all of those musicians were featured in the recording, but um, I also added people from my, uh, my Hafler band, um, as well as other musicians, I felt like um, I really wanted to um, showcase because the focus is on female um, role models, but I also wanted to have male role models as well. So, yeah.
Thank you. Thank you very much.